chasing the police every single day. Under investigation connected to an incident at a bar on the northwest side. Yeah, uh, our top story tonight, Fox San Antonio's Ariana Lubelli live outside the old bar on 1604 and Chase Hill Boulevard with more on what happened there. Ariana. Well, the bouncer at this bar tells me that deputies threatened to quote shoot up the place and kill people. They then walked over to this taco cabana across the street and allegedly caused trouble over there. Tuesday College Night a Dole Bar was interrupted when a group of off duty deputies allegedly became belligerent while drinking. When we gave them the water, they threw it on the ground and got really upset. At that point, we told them, well, you can no longer stay here. You've got to leave. So we kicked them out. Bouncer Josh Cornell says the deputies were highly intoxicated and became enraged when the DJ wasn't playing the music they wanted. They're trying to order people around and tell people what they could and couldn't do just because they're a Bear County Sheriff. Cornell says things escalated when bouncers refused to let the deputies back in. But they said that they were going to come back and shoot up the bar and kill people. That deputy is now on unpaid administrative leave. He's also been stripped of his credentials and department issued equipment. I don't know, disheartening, I guess, that um, the people who are supposed to protect you are willing to put themselves in that position and others for that matter. And we've learned that that deputy has been with the department for four years and his deputy officer license has now been revoked by the Bear County Sheriff's Office. SAPD is leading this investigation. Ariana Lubelli, Fox News at 9. We Video, crazed cops flash badges threatened to carry out mass shooting and kill people. Two of Bayhar County's finest were seen on surveillance footage and by multiple witnesses threatening to carry out a mass shooting after people refused to obey their commands. By Matt Agarist, December 19, 2018. San Antonio, Texas The Bayhar County Sheriff's Department is no stranger to controversy. Their history includes killing children, raping toddlers, and shooting innocent elderly grandmothers. Now, the department is in the spotlight once again this time, for threatening to carry out a mass shooting. According to surveillance video and multiple witnesses, two Bayhar County deputies were off-duty and drinking at Dial's Bar in San Antonio last week when things took a turn for the worse. They said that they were going to come back and shoot up the bar and kill people, said Joshua Cornell, a bouncer at Dial's. According to witnesses, the cops were not only drunk on alcohol but they were also drunk on power as they ordered patrons around and demanded the DJ play what they wanted. The deputies went so far as to show the patrons their badges to demand they comply. When people refused to comply with the power-tripping deputies, the deputies became enraged. They were trying to order people around and tell them what they could and couldn't do just because they're Bayhar County Sheriff, said Cornell. As News 4 reports, according to a police report, later in the night a deputy allegedly offered a woman $20 for services believed to be sex according to a police report. Security asked the deputies to leave. The pair left the bar, went to Taco Cabana but returned later. When they came back to the bar, Security refused to let them in, and that's when the threats came flying out. According to witnesses, the deputies then threatened to return with guns and begin killing people. It's disheartening, I guess, that the people who are supposed to protect you are willing to put themselves in that position and others for that matter, Cornell said. One of the deputies has been identified as Corporal Edmundo Renteria. Renteria was placed on unpaid administrative leave in connection with an off-duty incident, a BCSO official said Monday. The other deputy has not been identified and there has been no word as to whether or not he's been suspended as well. We hold ourselves to a higher standard, in accordance with the expectations of the public we serve, said Sheriff Javier Salazar. Our conduct must always be beyond reproach, whether on or off-duty. We are assisting the SAPD with all aspects of this investigation, and will handle it as swiftly and severely as possible, if the allegations are proven. According to the department, Renteria has not only been suspended without pay, 
but his peace officer license has been revoked and he has been stripped of all of his police gear. Exactly why the deputy hasn't been arrested or brought in for questioning for making terroristic threats remains unclear. The likelihood of the deputies actually being held accountable is slim considering the department's history. In December of 2017, the Free Thought Project reported on the tragic death of six-year-old Cameron Prescott whose life was stolen from him when police opened fire on an unarmed woman suspected of stealing a car. The deputies were from the Behar County Sheriff's Department. They killed an innocent child, while shooting at an unarmed woman and none of them were held accountable. In July, the Behar County District Attorney provided the department with clearance letters, allowing the deputies to report to full duty after being on administrative leave during the investigation. After a six-month paid vacation for killing a child, the cops went back to work. I'm livid, Ruby Prescott, Cameron's mother said at the time. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use if you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc., and please donate. I do not make money from YouTube. And uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.